our Coronel Suarez team is led on to the field by umpire Campbell McNabb and Richie Polar, two umpires. We have some wonderful Argentine music to accompany the oncoming Coronel Suarez team. Please give a warm hand of applause to the Coronel Suarez team coming on to the traditional Argentine music. Umpire Richie Pohl accompanies the team of Juan Lalor, Tomasito Fernandez Llorente, Benamina Raja and Santiago Raja to the middle of the field and now coming on for the Ananda Polo Club. Coming onto the field, the four young South African players playing for Ananda today and led on by Campbell McNabb. Please make a hand of applause for the Ananda team. Polo manager here at Inanda Club, Craig James, leads His Excellency Mr. Javier Figueroa, the Argentine ambassador, extraordinary and plenipotentiary onto the field. Please give a big hand of applause for His Excellency as he's introduced to the team of Coronel Suarez first. At number four, Santiago Araja. At number three, Benamina Araja. At number two, Tomasito Fernandez Durante. And at number one, Juan Lalo. I'll introduce them individually. A handshake to Richie Pohl and also to Campbell McNabb, our two umpires. And now Craig takes His Excellency to the Ananda team, playing at number one, Brad McGibbon. At two, Dirk van Rinnen. At number three, Gareth Evans. And at number four, Tom De Brain. Our two teams, Inanda, Coronel Suarez, His Excellency, the Argentine ambassador, Mr. Javier Figueroa, gets escorted off the field by Craig James. The match will be started by His Excellency bowling the ball in. But I'm going to introduce our visitors from the Coronel Suarez, first of all, playing up in the number one position, Juan Lalura, four goals. Give a, Juan, come forward, please. We want to give you a do. There we go. Juan comes forward. A hand of applause for Juan Lalor. Playing in the number two position, Tomasito Fernandez Llorente. At number three of six goals, the great, the one and only, Benamina Raja. And playing in the number four position, his nephew, Santiago Araja. And for the team of Inanda in blue, in a very unfamiliar position for him, in the number one slot, Bradley McGibbon. In the number two position, a very up and young man in polo, off five goals and the rocking four club, Dirk van Rienen. At number three, also from the Rocking Four Club, playing off six goals, Gareth Evans. And shutting the back door, the one, the only, the very well-known and well-respected, Tom De Bruyne off seven goals. So four young South Africans representing Inanda today, four Argentinians, four Coronel Suarez, and Coronel Suarez and Inanda playing off the stick today no handicap advantage 23 goals the ananda team 22 goals the coronel suarez team and we're going to be playing today a new form of polo that is being trialed around the world to try and speed up the game when polo was introduced in the modern game in the 1860s polo has traditionally been played off seven minutes 
But the game of polo today is now very much faster than it was then, which means that when you're playing at this very highest level, ponies get tired playing the full seven minutes. And players need to go off and change their ponies quite regularly. And therefore, in order to try and stop that changing of ponies, which slows down the game, and also to improve the speed of play, we're going to be playing five-minute chuckers, four and a half minutes, then a bell, and then five minutes of play. In addition, we will not be changing ends after each goal that is scored. Each team will play three chuckers one way and then three chuckers the other way with no roll-ins in the middle, the hit being taken from the 60-yard point after a goal is scored. I'll explain all that during the afternoon, but those of you new to polo, we're playing the way it's been played down in Plettenberg Bay earlier this year and also around the world, which is a way of trying to speed up the game. For those of you who know polo well, yes, we are not going to be changing ends after every goal that is scored, so don't be confused. It'll speed the game up. We've got six chuckers of high goal polo between Inanda and Coronel Suarez. So we've got Inanda going down towards Santon, Coronel Suarez going towards the city, and the ball will be bowled in by His Excellency, Mr. Javier Figueroa. The ball is in play. Who's going to be picking it up? Dirk van Rijn has his stick hooked. Picked up now by Brad McGibbon. Brad is ridden hard there by Juan Lalor. And the action is quick there as the pass comes up. In comes the back hand. It's going to be taken there by the number four in the maroon helmet, Santiago Araja. Dirk van Rijn. Plays off five goals, played in the high goal in England last year. Picks it up, he tries to pluck it in the air. Yes, he does! A little bit of tennis there from Dirk van Rienen. Puts the first one on the board. And Dirk van Rienen for Inanda open their account. And they move up to one goal in this opening period of play. Dirk van Rienen, the goal scorer. One goal on the board to Inanda. So, no ends are changed. A little bit of confusion. A lot of these players have played for many years by changing ends. So, play will restart with the ball placed down there on the 60-yard spot. Ends don't change. The maroon helmet of Santiago Araja drives the ball down the field. Who's going to pick it up? It's going to be the backhand taken nicely there by Brad McGibbon. Brad sets it up for his number three, Gareth Evans. The backhand is taken there by Santiago Araja. He's riding a horse loaned to him today by Tom DeBrain called Metty, who's picking it up there. I'll talk about the horses in just a minute. We've got one player on the field. And whistle goes, clock stops. Well, thrills and spills. That's why we do have ambulance and a vet in attendance. Polo is played at fast speed and can have some rather nasty knocks, so we always want to be conscious of safety first which is the reason why we have the rules of polo. So Dirk van Rienen back in the saddle. Let's give him a little hand of applause, please, for Dirk rebounds. Dirk's riding a horse called uh, Chestnut. He's got uh, been loaned ponies today by Ryan Robertson and also by Craig James. And I'll talk a lot about the ponies that are being played throughout this match and who's been lending them as we go through the game. It's picked up there by the young man, Juan Lalor. Juan leaves it, picked up by Dirk van Rienen. Now in polo, when the ball is struck, it creates a line from where it is hit to where it is going. So you have to be on that line to make a play at the ball. In that case, the Coronel Suarez player hit the ball forward and Dirk van Rienen came across at right angles to that line. At the time, Coronel Suarez going forward in the opposing team's half. So they push this one up to what we call a penalty four, a free hit from 60 yards and it's going to be taken by the maroon helmet of Santiago Araja. Santiago in this chucker, he's riding a horse very kindly loaned to him by Tom De Brain in the opposition. Tom De Brain has sent three ponies to the opposition, very generously mounting them as Santiago comes in. He lofts that one well. Up it goes. Is it straight? It's gone wide over the back line. It'll be a knock-in now for Ananda. 20... Nine horses have been generously lent to the Coronel Suarez team here this afternoon as play restarts. And it's Dirk van Rienen who picks it up. He's got Brad McGibbon up at the front door waiting for the pass. Dirk gets hooked out of it. Backing up nicely is Gareth Evans. Gareth drives that one up, tries to get it through to 
He's number four, Tom De Brain, but the backhand taken nicely by Juan Lalo. Little bit of a melee there, all coming in at angles. Still their play on, backhand taken nicely there by Dirk, who sends it out. It's going to be picked up there again by Tom De Brain. He leaves it behind, brought around nicely. Now by Tomasito Fernandez Gerente. He leaves it, it's going to be picked up over there by Juan Lalo. Pressure by the Ananda team on Coronel Suarez, but Coronel Suarez have possession. Picked up now by the blue helmeted Benamina Raja, still out there in the middle of the field. It's wrong, it wasn't, it was Tommy Gerenti. Tommy Gerenti, now it's going to be Benamina Raja. He comes through with Dirk. Dirk called off it by Tom De Brain. Tom De Brain taking it nicely down the field. Tom on a horse called Dream in this chucker. Can he find the flags? Tom shoots and puts it through between the flags, riding a nice bay mare of his own called Dream. This horse has played in many South African test matches in the past, and today it's playing for Tom De Brain here at Inanda for his team, the Inanda Polo Club. So Tom De Brain puts a number two on the board for Inanda, and Coronel Suarez yet to open their account. Hit taken nicely back there by Gareth Evans. Gareth Evans riding a horse called Mosel in this chucker, one of his own, sent now to Bradley McGibbon. Bradley McGibbon right, mounted throughout this match by Harold Darko. Thank you to Harold for mounting him as Gareth takes the backhand, beautifully sends it out towards the sideline. But it's going to be picked up now by Tomasito Fernandez Gerente. Tomasito, now it's going to be Benamin Araja. Benamin, very much the general of the team. Benamin played for many years in the high gold in England. His nephew there teaming up with him today. Good backhand there by Tom De Brain. Set up for Bradley McGibbon. One ball has been dropped on the field, but they're going to play on now, and it's going to be Ben Amin Araja. Ben Amin riding Countess in this chucker. Nicely loaned to him by JP Ray. Thank you. As Ben Amin goes down towards the flags, in comes the player number one, Juan Lalo for Coronel Suarez. But unfortunately for him, he just nipped in, I think, underneath the trailing player, and there'll be therefore a spot hit in favor of Inanda. Gareth Evans, he's off the side of the field. He's changing ponies. He's gonna come back on a pony of Ian Stewart. Thank you, Ian, your pony motto for loaning that pony today to Gareth Evans. As I'll talk to you, we're very grateful to all the pony lenders. I'll tell you a bit more as Tom De Brain drives that one nicely the field. The young man Dirk van Rien is going to pick it up. Back well there by Tomasito. Swinging onto the right of way is going to be Santiago Araja. Juan Lalor having a big battle with Tom De Brain. Look at those two at the front door. There's the pass going up to Benamin Araja. Benamin's going to swoop on the ball. Take the cut shot to goal. Takes the cut shot. Angle is good. Hasn't got the length through. Comes Tomasito. Big hand of applause for Coronel Suarez. Tomasito Fernandez Gerente, the goal scorer there, puts number one onto the board for the team of Coronel Suarez. Nice play there between all four players of Coronel Suarez. 2 1. Please give a big hand of applause. The whistle went for the end of the first chucker. Let's give them a big hand of applause as off they go with Inanda leading by two goals to one over Coronel Suarez. Tom De Brain to Dirk van Rienen. Dirk calls for the pass by Tom De Brain, but Dirk sends it nicely up there to Gareth Evans. Gareth Evans launches that one down to the target area of Coronel Suarez. Back in defence goes the maroon helmet of Santiago Araja. Turns it around. Still he has possession. Santiago Araja playing nicely, riding a horse of Robert Daniels called Cyber in this chucker. Still has possession, whistle goes. The sticks of the white shirts of Coronel Suarez are in the air. They look like they're gonna go forward to the halfway point. So when you have that possession of the ball and you're trying to go forward, the opposing players may not lurk around in front of you and stop you having a free run of play down that line. In this case, one of the blue shirted players of Inanda was in the right of way and therefore Santiago Raja was not able to push forward. At the time, Coronel Suarez going forward in their own half. So our two umpires, Richie Pohl and Campbell McNabb, move the ball up to the centre of the field. If Richie Pohl and Campbell McNabb can't agree 
on whether it was a foul or not, or what type of foul, then they look to our third man and referee, Clive Peddle, who makes the final adjudication. Santiago Araja drives that one. Ricochets off the pony of Brad McGibbon. Santi turns it around nicely in front of Bradley McGibbon. Bradley McGibbon, good backhand from him. Sets it up for his teammate, Gareth Evans. Gareth can't get a hold of it. Bringing it round nicely is Tomasito fernandez Llorente. And the ball goes out of play. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. In polo now, we have a new rule that if the ball goes out of play without coming off another pony, instead of there being a thrown in, eight seconds are counted, and then the opposition have the opportunity after five seconds of playing the ball. That's what happened there. It was hit out by Coronel Suarez, and therefore there was a free hit to Ananda. Nice backhand across the face of the goal mouth. Did it go in? No, it didn't. Over the back line. Good attacking play by Ananda. The score remains two, Ananda. One, Coronel Suarez. A beautiful day here. The sun is out. I hope your glass is charged. We've got five chuckers more of high goal international polo here. Played in this very high level of 23 goals. You don't see such polo played often in South Africa. So enjoy the moment as racing down the field comes Benamin Araja. Beautiful play from Benamin. Sends it down towards the goal mouth of Inanda. Good backhand by Tom De Bruyne who's being watched avidly by mother and sister here today. Picked up now by Santiago Araja. Santi still has it. The young Argentine, very big family, the Araja family in Argentine Polo and in the Coronel Suarez Club. And there we had what would be called a foul hook. When you go to strike the ball, you may hook another player's stick, but you may not hook that player's stick above the level of the shoulder or from across the wrong side of the pony. In this case, the Coronel Suarez player was going for the big strike down towards the goal mouth, and he had his stick hooked in order to stop him hitting the ball, but unfortunately, it was above the level of the shoulder, therefore the umpires are gonna push this one up to a free hit in favor of Coronel Suarez. It's gonna be a penalty three, this is from 40 yards out, the defending player may come across and try and stop the ball as it is hit. Santiago Raja comes in, he puts it through. There's the equaliser, we have all the twos on the board. Let's give them a big hand of applause of Coronel Suarez gets number two on the board. And in this second period of play, it's two apiece. So, play restarts again, look at the... <laughs> Brad McGibbon, Santiago Raja having a right tussle up there at the front door. Big hit from Tom De Bruyne. Dirk van Rienen's going to turn around and going to pick it up. Dirk loses it. Picked up now by Tomasito. Tomasito, his father, Tomas Durenti, played an awful lot in England. I commentated on him 20 years ago, and it's nice to see his son playing so well now as Gareth turn Evans turns it around. Gareth, he's going to have to get out of the way. Tomasito! Whistle goes. When you have possession of the ball... The other player, as I said to you before, mustn't lurk in that right of way and stop you from either moving forward or having a free hit at the ball. In this case, the player from Coronel Suarez was unable to let the Inanda player have a hit at the ball and therefore the umpires blew the whistle and they pushed the ball up to the 60-yard spot. This free hit and a defended goal from 60 yards out. So the clock, you can see down where the Investic school board is. Tells you how much time is remaining. One minute, 40 seconds remaining in this second chucker. The clock stops every time the whistle is blown. So the fact they've moved it up, it's not a penalty four, it's a penalty three. I apologize from 40 yards out. And the ball teed up. for Tom De Bray. In comes Tom De Bray. Tom comes in. Did he push it wide? He pushed it wide. Tom De Bray riding a horse called Honours in this chucker. Tom very finely mounted, probably one of the best mounted players in South Africa. Horses being brought on by his family, his mother in particular, and he's extremely well mounted both here and he used to be when playing overseas. Picked up there by Tomasito. It's gonna come down into the half of Inanda, back nicely by Gareth Evans. 
met though by Brad McGibbon, but Brad can't get a hold of it. Tomasito turns it around. Nice play. Benamin tries to pick the ball up. He can't get a hold of it. Tomasito Fernandez Gerente shoots from far out. Ball comes back. It's going to be picked up on the ricochet by Dirk van Rienen. Dirk waits. Tom De Bray goes up for the pass. Tomasito Gerente hooks Dirk van Rienen and he turns it around. Still, but lovely passing play there from Benamina Raja. Could it be goal time for Coronel Suarez? Tomasito Fernandez Gerente. He shoots for goal. Off the goal post. Kicked in by the pony. That pony will get an extra bowl of oats tonight for scoring that last goal. Well done to the team of Coronel Suarez. So it'll be a hit to restart play from the 60-yard point. Inanda trailing by a goal at the moment. Tomasito scoring all three goals so far for Coronel Suarez. Tom De Bray playing off a seven-goal rating. One of the highest-rated players in South Africa, if not the... As Tom DeBrain drives it up to the front door, up to Bradley McGibbon. Bradley McGibbon hooks out the stick of Ben Amin Araja. In comes Santiago Araja, his nephew. He battles away with Bradley. Ball is there, gone over the back line. Don't think the whistle went. It'll be a knocking. Time ticking away. Play called. Driven up there by Santiago Araja, going to be picked up now by Gareth Evans for Inanda. Gareth pushes along, he's got Santiago Araja in the way, turning it around, picks up the ball again, shoots for goal, pushes it wide over the back line. It'll be a knock-in for Coronel Suarez. Time ticking away. In this second chucker. as Santiago Araja restarts. They're going up for the pass is Tomasito Fernandez Gerente. Tomasito comes through here in front of the stand. Let's give them a big hand of applause. They're right here in front of the stands. Give them a big cheer. Oh my goodness. Well done to Bradley McGibbon. He gives a demonstration. Tash, his wife and son Grayson will be very impressed with him getting back in the saddle there. Picked up now by Dirk van Rienen. Dirk turns in nicely. Who's gonna be picking it up? It's gonna be Gareth Evans, Juan Lalor. Hooks him out nicely, backed as well, in comes. Oh, and there were two people coming down the right of the way. Brad McGibbon thought he'd got in there. But the other two players, one from Coronel Suarez, one from Inanda, had already swung on to the right of way. And therefore, the whistle is gone, and the penalty will go in their favour. So the penalty will be taken from the centre of the field after that last whistle but it will be taken in the next period of play. So let's give them a big hand of applause as the team of Coronel Suarez lead them off the field, leading by three goals to two at the end of the second chucker with one more chucker to go before half time. So away we go in the third chucker and Santiago Araja, whose uncle, father rather, is here as the reserve today, sends it up to his uncle Benamin Araja Benamin pushes it forward, stolen there by Dirk van Rienen. Dirk comes away. Dirk in this chucker riding a horse called Stutter, lent to him by Craig James. Tomasito Gerente, Gerentes riding Eastern Spirit, lent to him by Andrew Dewar. Ricochets off a pony, picked up now. Again, this time it's going to be picked up by Tom the Brain, riding Queen, a horse. Wrong, sorry, riding Rose. And it's going to be Tom the Brain who comes down. I think he's changed his order, that's not Rose, but it's going to be picked up now by the number two, Tomasito. Tomasito turns it nicely. Picked up by Ben Amin, who puts a bit more length on it. And Bradley McGibbon goes for the under the next shot, but he's challenged there by Tomasito, stolen in front of Tomasito by Gareth Evans. But I think those of you sitting here in the mud hut and in the Ananda clubhouse could see what I mean about not being on the right of way. That blue player in the Ananda shirt came in in front of the Coronel Suarez player and there was no advantage to Coronel Suarez. They were in reverse at the time. That's why a spot hit is put down and it's Santiago Araujo who quickly takes the penalty. Gareth Evans takes the backhand but straight to Santiago Araujo. Santiago Araujo sends it nicely into the 
field in the centre, picked up there by Tom De Bruyne. He's hooked there by Juan Lalo, backing up nicely. Tomasito Fernandez Llorente up to Benamina Raja. Benamina Raja, here he goes, goes for the cut shot. Benamina picks it up. Yes, it's through. What a lovely goal to the stick of Benamina Raja. Puts number four on the board for the team of Coronel Suarez. So it's going to be picked up now by Tom De Bruyne. Tom De Bruyne brings it in, still pushing it. He's got Dirk van Rijnen behind him. Juan Lalo comes in for the challenge. Good challenge by him, but Dirk was backing up nicely. Big drive by Dirk van Rijnen up to Brad McGibbon. Brad is challenged by Santi Araja, racing through his Gareth Evans. Off the stick, picked up there right in front of the flags. Tomasito fernandez Gerente makes the break. Oh, and what a furious backhand there by Bradley McGibbon. Whistle goes, though. The umpire points to the centre of the field. And that's because the near side backhand that I was explaining earlier on was taken. But the player came across in front of Tomasito. So they pushed the umpires, the ball up to the centre of the field. This is a penalty 5B. And the pace is really hotting up now in this third period of play with Coronel Suarez leading by four goals to two in this tremendous match and it's just a measure of the sportsmanship that exists between polo players around the world that you heard me say that Dirk van Rijnen has lent horses today, Tom De Bruyne lent horses as well, Gareth Evans as well to the opposition, really nice to see the opposition being lent ponies by the home team of Enanda, that's how the poem of polo is played, true sportsmanship. Dirk van Rijnen takes the big backhand, sets it up for his teammate Gareth Evans. Gareth, he's got Brad McGibbon racing down there, being heavily marked though by Santiago Araja. Oh, picked up there, still Gareth has the ball. Gareth Evans still has possession. Gareth riding Amarula in this chakra, one of his own ponies. Plucked there, came off and out of play. And I'm just gonna wait to see whether they roll it in or it is a spot hit if the ball comes off another pony rather than your own pony then the ball is going to be bowled in and i think that it did no it isn't i'm just waiting yep they're going to line up so that ball went out of play being hit off another pony i think the umpire's explaining what they're doing whistle has stopped the clock these are new rules in polo this year and not all players are quite used to how they're being played but here in South Africa if the ball comes off another pony then it is bowled in but I think they've decided it came off his own pony and therefore it will be a hit to Coronel Suarez if it comes off your own pony it does go to the opposition so Coronel Suarez get a hit there from the spot it's going to be picked up by Tomasito look at that a big drive from Tomasito Fernandez Gerente off the post again beautiful play by him they're cancelling each other out Gareth Evans bringing the ball down towards the Ananda clubhouse still Gar Gareth has possession he's got traffic in the way leaves it now for Tom De Bruyne Tom De Bruyne comes racing down the field still it's Tom De Bruyne Beautiful play by him, pushes it up to Bradley McGibbon. Benamina Raja can't get the backhand. Dirk van Rijnen plucks it on the near side, swaps to the offside. He's cancelled out by Juan Lalor. Bradley McGibbon brings it through. Bradley McGibbon, nice play by him, riding Maya, a horse of Harold Darko. Still there over there on the far side, turned around by Gareth Evans. The attack is him off, is pretty heavy by the Ananda team. Still, Gareth tucking in behind him. He's going to be. Tom De Bruyne, it's Gareth up to Bradley McGibbon, picked up now by Juan Lalor. He gets hooked out of it. Tom De Bruyne shoots. Tom De Bruyne pushes it wide. Tom De Bruyne didn't quite manage to put that one through. The score remains four to Coronel Suarez. Two to Inanda. Whistle goes. We have Coronel Suarez leading in this high goal invitational match over Inanda by four goals to two. And we'll see you for the second half of this wonderful polo match when they return to the field with Coronel Suarez leading by four goals to two. Ball in play.
Can I ask for those people to come off the field? We're actually playing. Please, the man with the photo camera, please, can you come off the field? Away we go. Play restart. So, play starts. We've got four on the board to Coronel Suarez. Picked up by Tomasita Fernandez Durante. He drives it down the goal mouth. He's riding a horse called BBM, lent to him by Harold Darko in this chucker. Who's going to pick it up? It's going to be Benamin Araja. Benamin will take the backhand. Nicely cancelled out there by Gareth Evans. And it's Gareth Evans who's hunting down the field, riding a horse of Ian Stewart's called Casey. Gareth can shoot to go. Oh! Gareth, Gareth, Gareth. The whole of the East Ram Polo Club goes, oh, Gareth. And rocking four as well. So, Inanda, don't manage to put another one on the board. Our visitors from Coronel Suarez lead by two goals. It'll be a knock-in now. Santiago Araja takes the knock-in from the back line. Riding Gelding, a horse lent to him by Gareth Evans. Very generous from Gareth in this chucker. Who's going to pick it up towards the mole mouth? They go. In there comes Dirk van Rienen. Through it goes. Up on the scoreboard, Dirk van Rienen puts goal number three on the board. And Deirdre, his mother, will have a little flutter of the heart in her pride as Dirk van Rienen puts that one up onto the scoreboard and makes it 3-4 in favour of Coronel Suarez. Santiago Araja takes the knock-in. On board this horse of Gareth Evans, he's called Gelding. Up to Ben Amin Araja. Ben Amin Araja pushes it over on the far side. Going to be picked up now by Dirk van Rienen. He has his stick hooked by Tomasito. Gareth Evans comes through. Oh, big bump there with Gareth and Tomasito. Whistle stays silent. Still they play on. I think Gareth thought he may have fouled, but uh, umpires are happy with that as Dirk van Rienen picks the loose ball up. Dirk van Rienen riding quail, a horse of Ryan Roberts in Robertson in this chucker towards the flags he goes. Dirk van Rienen pushes it wide over the back line. Knocking now for Coronel Suarez. As the shadows lengthen, Polo is great. Having this invitation side come all the way from the other side of the ocean. They come here and they're playing in fine form. A beautiful pass from Santiago Araja to Tomasito. But Tomasito can't get there first of all. Picked up by Tom De Brain. Riding one of his favourite horses called Mocha Shake. Picked up now by Ben Amina Raja. Riding a horse of Andrew Dewar's Marcella. And it's Andrew Dewar. Wrong. Not Andrew Dewar. It's Andrew Dewar's horse. It was Ben Amina Raja who turned it around now though for Inanda. It's Dirk van Rienen. No, it isn't. It's Tom De Brain. Apologies there. A little bit of a difference in stature. I shouldn't have got that one wrong. As Tomasito Fernandez Durante picks it up. Up for the pass goes Santiago Araja. Support from Juan Lalor. Juan Lalor now goes forward. Ben Amin Araja calls them all off. Sends it up there. Tries to get it to Santiago. Back nicely there by Bradley McGibbon. Sends it to his teammate, Dirk van Rienen. He gets cancelled out. Picked up by Gareth. The overlap is there. Great play from the Ananda boys. And Dirk van Rienen went over the top. Ben Amin Araja takes it on the near side. Leaves it behind. Teammate. Juan Lalor hassles Tom the Brain. Ball is out of play. So we'll get that ball placed down for the knock. The ball was sent out of play by Inanda. Eight seconds are counted by the umpire. Ball is then put down. The player is not allowed to tee it up, and he has to hit it within five seconds. It keeps the game moving. It's a very big improvement on polo that's being played for the first time here in the 2018 season. And you see there, Ben Amina Raja said, I had the right of way. Do the umpires agree? Looks like they do. The blue player came across the right of way. And at the time, maybe it wasn't. It looks like actually the, we'll just wait and see what they're going to award. They're going to take the opportunity to change ponies. We haven't ended the chucker. There's 25 seconds remaining in this fourth chucker. But players taking the chance to change ponies as they go down towards that 40-yard point. That is a penalty three, 40 yards from goal. And we've got about 25 seconds of play remaining. All the players back on the field now. Santiago Araja has the ball teed up. We're still waiting for Tomasito Fernandez-Gerente. 
to return to the field. When you have visitors from overseas, it's traditional to wait. You don't normally keep them disappointed by coming onto the field and hitting the ball before your visiting team is back on. And Santiago Raja didn't like that ball. In polo, players, when they take the penalties, they like an old ball. A new ball doesn't fly as well, so they like a ball that's been hit around a bit in order to take a penalty. They find that it flies a little bit better and a little bit truer in the air. So this is a penalty three, 40 yards out. Santiago Raja to take the strike, riding Gelding. He takes the strike. Met there in the goal mouth. Beautiful defensive play there by Dirk van Rienen. But he put it over his own back line. So it will now be what we call a safety 60. So defended very well indeed there by the Inanda team. But another penalty to be given in favour of the white shirts of Coronel Suarez. It's, uh, the equivalent of what we would call a corner in football. If you hit it over your own back line, the ball is placed down exactly opposite where it went out. And it's going to be another chance for the seven-goal player, Santiago Araja. Rather, five-goal player, Santiago Araja, who's going to take the strike. In fact, he changed ponies. He's not riding gelding. He's riding a horse of Harold Darko's called Weston. This dark bay, eight-year-old she is. A bear. Santiago Araja takes the strike. At the walk, all the way along the ground. Who's going to meet it? Benamina Raja meets it, goes for the strike. Met there in the goal mouth by Tom De Brain. And Tom De Brain is the man who makes the break. I think he's got on to minx his spare horse in this chucka. Drives it down the field. It's going to go off the boards. In comes Santiago Araja. Lovely backhand for him. Ricochets off a pony. Going to be picked up by Tom De Brain. Up to Dirk van Rienen. Here goes Dirk van Rienen. Look at the speed of Santi's horse. Dirk van Rienen shoots. Dirk van Rienen gets the equaliser. And it's Dirk van Rienen goes into the scoring margin. That's his third goal of the match. Four apiece now. And Dirk's mother, another little flutter of the heart as her proud, she proudly watches her son get the equaliser for Inanda. So please, can you give them all a big hand of applause as off they go at the end of the fourth chucker with the scoreline four apiece. And we've got two more chuckers to play in this great invitational match between Coronel Suarez and Inanda. And it'll be a knock-in from that 60-yard point, this new way and format of playing polo, speeding up the game, very well received, it's easier on the ponies, and it's much more quicker and easier on the eye for the spectators. As Santiago Riaja restarts play, another horse of Harold Dargo that he's riding called Solar, an 11 year old, very generously, Harold Dargo I think has sent 16 horses to the field today. 15, 8 for Bradley McGibbon and 7 for the opposition. And Gareth Evans picks it up. It's Gareth Evans taking it away. Riding Bishop, he takes it down towards the flags, leaves it behind. Benamina Raja cuts it, leaves it. His nephew Santiago Raja picks it up quite beautifully. Up to Benamin. Here goes Benamina Raja. Ryan Incabo, a horse of Tom de Brain. Benamina Raja shoots for goal. It's going to go a little bit wide. In comes Tom de Brain, protecting the ball over the back line. He goes. A good run of play. Lovely open play from Benamina Raja and his nephew Santiago, as the ball will be taken for a knock in now for Inanda. Well, that's the generosity of polo players. Tom de Brain was the one keeping the ball out of the goal mouth. And the shot was actually taken by Benamina Raja, who was riding a horse that Tom de Brain had kindly lent him. And that's what the community of polo is all about. Everyone's great friends. They have no quarter given. They battle it out on the field. But at the heart of it, it's a love of the sport and a love of the horses that keeps them all together. Big drive there from Tom De Brain. Sends it up to Gareth Evans. Picked up by Dirk van Rienen. Dirk sends it down towards the flags. Picked up again by Gareth Evans. He shoots, pushes it wide. Knock in again for Coronel Suarez. It's end to end. Really going nicely now. We've got three minutes remaining in this fifth chucker. Knock in. Coronel Suarez will take the knock in. Santiago Araja circles around. Talks to Benamin and Tomasito to decide on their plan as Santi brings the ball in. 
if he looks at, sees where his options. There goes Tomasito left. There's the pass to Tomasito. He's riding Lullaby, a horse of JP Rays. It's Tomasito who picks it up, being hassled there by Tom De Brain. The ball is out of play. Let's give him a big hand of applause, please. Come on, let's give him a cheer. It's four apiece. Fantastic high old polo between Coronel Suarez and Inanda as the ball goes out of play. Looks like the whistle must have been blown because they've just stopped to have a little discussion. They're going to roll the ball in. Probably because they couldn't decide which pony it came off and therefore rather than giving them an unfair advantage, the ball will be bowled in. In it goes. Picked up by Ben Amina Raja. Stolen away by Dirk Van Rienen. He's like a little terrier, a little fox terrier, Dirk Van Rienen. As he picks the balls up, loses it, rather loses it towards the goal mouth. Teammate Gareth Evans picks the pass up. Gareth comes in, shoots for goal! Through it goes, Gareth Evans, goal number five. Goal there to the stick of Gareth Evans. They're just taking the opportunity to change ponies. And it's nice to see such good spirit and such good sportsmanship between these South African and Argentine players teaming up today to play for Coronel Suarez and Inanda. Good backhand by Bradley McGibbon. Up to Gareth Evans. Little false play from Gareth Evans. He drives it down the field. Back in defence goes Santiago Araja. Santiago takes the backhand, beautiful backhand from Santiago Araja. Who's going to pick it up? No one's there, first of all. Back there well by Bradley McGibbon, stolen nicely by Tomasito. Backing up well, Santiago. Now Uncle Ben Amin drives it up to Nephew. But it's going to be Dirk van Rien and Dirk van Rien and took that one. Now, I've been talking about this line, this right of way. Ben Amin drove that one up, tried to get it to his nephew. But Dirk van Rien and came across that right of way thereby causing an element of danger to Ben Amin Araja, who was coming down the right of way. So he cut across the line, and therefore the umpires blow the whistle. Now they'll decide which penalty they're going to award. They're going to award a penalty 5B. This is a free hit from the centre of the field, as the white shirts of Coronel Suarez were going forward at the time that that infringement occurred. And I'm going to name and shame you Dirk van Rienen, who has played two fantastic goals this time, a little bit too over-ambitious and cut across the right away. So, penalty for Coronel Suarez. It's going to be Santiago Araja, who's going to take the strike from the middle of the field. Santiago Araja teeing the ball up. I think he may well have got back onto... Western, which he played at the end of the last chucker. Uh, I think he changed onto that one, but if I've got it wrong, but anyway, thank you again to Harold Darko, who's generously sent 15 horses to play polo here today. Picked up on the backhand nicely there. Was it Tom De Bruyne or was it Dirk? It was Dirk Van Rienen. Sent it, but Santiago Araja, beautiful open backhand. Ben Amin puts a bit more length onto that one. Met by Juan Lalor, who's dancing around. He loses it. Dirk Van Rienen turns it. Garrett wrong. Ben Amin appealed for the foul. The umpires say he had enough room. Dirk Van Rienen, he finds fresh air. See that even the best can do it. So does Ben Amin Araja. Now it's Tomasito Fernandez Llorente. Turns it around. Tomasito. Juan Lalor goes up for the pass. There's the pass. Hooked out of it by Dirk Van Rienen. Picked up now by Ben Amin. He's called off it by Santiago Araja. Santiago Araja leaves it for Uncle Ben Amin. Ben Amin chips that one on. Takes the little nine iron out. Sends it towards the goal. Tomasito shoots! And Tomasito scores. Goal number five for Coronel Suarez. Comes to the stick of Tomasito fernandez Gerente. That's five of all in the fifth chucker. And did the bell go? Did the whistle go? Let's give them a big hand of applause. I've never seen all the fives on the board. That should be five goals to Coronel Suarez. Five goals to Inanda. The end of the fifth chucker. We've got one more chucker to come. Or if the scores are level, we'll play sudden death in a seventh. We've got five apiece. This is the last chucker. They will not play the 30 seconds if one team is leading. They will play the 30 seconds if the scores are level. And if the scores are still level, we'll play sudden death 
in a seventh chucker. Dirk van Rienen pushes it up to Tom de Brain. Tom de Brain races down towards the Coronel Suarez gold mark. Tom de Brain shoots. Tom de Brain scores. Tom de Brain brings it nicely in there, riding a lovely dark bay mare, seven years old, called cool Celtic. It's Tom de Brain who puts goal number six on the board for the team of Inanda. So a hit from the 60-yard line, knock in to restart play. Santiago Araja brings the ball in. Here he comes, driving it up there for his teammate, Tomasito de Fernandez Llorente. Backed in front of him by Dirk van Rienen. Stolen away by Santiago Araja. He put that one out of play. So it'll be a hit to the Ananda team for Santiago putting that one out of play. He didn't really have many options. He knew that if he missed it, that that team player would be loose and it's going to be the knock-in or rather the spot taken by Tom de Bray. It's beautiful dark bay. Look at her. Nicely settled down. Takes the hit. Tom de Bray pushes it forward. Dirk van Rienen is there to support him. Tom de Bray decides to go on his own. Still it's Tom. Tom pushing along. Juan Lalor takes the backhand shot. Nicely sets it up for Tomasito. Tomasito riding Lily. Another horse of Harold Darko. Sends this one up to Benamin in the middle of the field. Benamin tries to come in and pick the ball up. But it's stolen away there by Gareth Evans. Gareth Evans to Brad McGibbon. Brad McGibbon riding Luna. A horse of Harold Darko's as well. And I said Harold. 15 horses said to the team. Brilliant play by him. Tommy Fernandez. Sorry. Santiago Raja took the back out, picked up now by Tom de Brain. Tom de Brain cuts it over onto the far side. Who's going to be picking it up? It's still Tom. Tom pushing it along. Dirk van Rien and backing him up well. Juan Lalor hooks his stick. Tomasito, great backhand from Tomasito. Santiago Raja battles it out with Gareth Evans. In comes Tom de Brain. Sticks are aloft. Who will the umpires blow in favour of? Tom the Brain, he thought he had the right away. Santiago Raja, he thought he had the right away. The two umpires consult. If they can't agree, then they will go to Clive Pedal, the third man, up in the stands, who will adjudicate. So time tick ticking on the Avestec clock. Two minutes and ten seconds registering. And Inanda give ground. A crucial penalty goes to the white shirts of Coronel Suarez. And then was the penalty was blown out on the sidelines within the 60 yards of the goal. However, they were going out towards the goal, rather the sidelines at the time. So the umpires bring the ball to the 60-yard point as at the time, Coronel Suarez were not going towards the goal mouth. So a penalty for free hit, 60 yards out, defended goal. It's going to be Santiago Araja who's going to take the strike He's riding Latin Oak, a horse of Andrew Dewar's. In he comes. Drives it all the way along the ground. It's going there. Met in the goal mouth. Stolen away by Ananda. And it's going to be Gareth Evans. Gareth pushes it up there to Dirk van Rienen. Here comes Dirk van Rienen riding Super Texan. This horse is 17 years old. The oldest player on the fit, oldest pony playing today at 17 years old. Picked up now by Bradley McGibbon. Bradley still there, pushes it along. Juan Lalo is on his attendance. Bradley turning. Still Bradley McGibbon has it. Pushes down towards the flags. Bradley McGibbon, big ride off with Benamina Raja. Juan Lalo takes the backhand, finds fresh air. Picked up now by Tomasito. Tomasito Fernandez Llorente. He leaves it. And the pace is furious. Stolen away by Dirk van Rienen. Dirk van Rienen towards the flag. Dirk! Dirk! Oh, he's pushed it wide. Tomasito comes in. Santiago drives it up there. Pace is getting pretty tight out there. They're trailing by a goal. Coronel Suarez, everything to play for for them. Dirk van Rienen there. Tom de Brain is the one who picks it up. Now it's Dirk van Rienen. Dirk takes it away. Benamina Raja, age against experience. Picked up now. Gareth Evans, he shoots. Gareth Evans! Gareth Evans puts it through. And Gareth Evans riding hot and sharp who got that one through and puts them into a commanding advantage as they move another one up and they go to seven. And now Inanda Club are doing very well. Backhand there by Tomasito. Too wrong, it wasn't from Dirk, I think it was. Now it's Santiago Araja. Santiago Araja still coming through. 
Score line still not up on the board, but I think there's two goals. The difference picked up now by Tomasito. He loses it. Dirk van Rien in challenges. Little bit of a melee there. Whistle has gone. The clock will stop. Who's it going to go in favour of? Time ticking away. Two goals against them. And it's gone in favour of Coronel Suarez. But do they have enough time? I don't know. They're going to go and change ponies. Final run of play. And it's going to be a penalty four by the looks of things. Yes, the ball dropped down by umpire Campbell McNabb. Can't tell Campbell and Richie too far apart. Like me, they're both a bit portly. And it's going to be a penalty for free hit from 60 yards out for Coronel Suarez. Tomasito Fernandez Gerente played very well indeed today. He's going to take this one from 60 yards out. And it's great to have Tomasita here. As I said, his father Tommy played for many years in the United Kingdom. As Tommy Sito comes around. All the way along the ground, is it straight? Benamine tries to stop it. Over the back line it goes, out of play. 7 5 in favour of Inanda. Tom De Brain restarts play. There goes the bell, the end of the match. Let's give them a big hand of applause, please. Congratulations to Inanda, who run out the winners by seven goals to five of this inaugural high goal invitation here at the Inanda Club. The field has played beautifully. Our thanks to all those pony lenders. Our thanks to our visitors of Coronel Suarez, Juan Lelor, Tomasito, Fernandez Llorente, Benamin Araja, Santiago Araja, and their reserve. Also Santiago Araja Senior, and our congratulations to the home team of Brad McGibbon, Dirk van Rien, and Gareth Evans, and Tom the Brain. Our thanks to our two umpires, Campbell McNabb and Richie Pohl, our referee, Clive Peddle, to all our pony lenders who so very generously mounted our visitors and also the home team.